Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look for like Valentine's Day or spring or whatever, whenever. You know, it's a little bit out there. Just give you a close up. Hopefully this is focusing. Anyway, I just wanted to do something fun, something different, and yeah. Like I said, this doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. I'm putting this out in time for it to be for Valentine's Day, but obviously it could be for spring too. You know, not just Valentine's Day. So yeah, or whenever. I like to wear pink whenever. So anyway, without further ado, if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna go right on in. Obviously, I have to take off the glasses, which now means I can't tell if I'm in focus or not, so <laughs> bear with me. If I get out of focus, which will probably most likely happen. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I don't really have a necess I don't really have a plan for what's happening here. Um, I just don't, you know. As I was saying, I don't really have a plan for what I'm doing. I just want it to be pink, and yeah. Obviously, you don't have to wear pink only on Valentine's Day. I really like wearing pink eyeshadow just in general. I feel like it's really nice. Obviously, you just saw me put on my Milani eye primer. I am going to set that very quickly with the with Beaches and Cream from the Menu MUA X Makeup Geek Palette that you see me use all the time. This brush is clean. I just, it's stained. I'm sorry. Now that my eyes are set, we're going to kind of start in with the pinks. I'm mostly going to be using ColourPop shadows for this. They're single shadows. I think I'm going to start with this one. This is called Soft Core. I have them in the plastic packaging because I don't have like a um, palette to keep them in. So this is Soft Core. This color here. And I'm gonna just put that kind of in the crease as like a base shade. This is a very muted pink, which is why I really like using it for this step. Because it's gonna help blend the much more brighter colors out later. This is our base blending shadow down. I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on a more brighter color. I think I'm going to take this one, which is for sure. It's definitely a more neon pink, but we're going to kind of just have it in the crease. And then I think I'm going to go in and cover it up with a cut crease later on. I'm gonna go back in with um, soft core and kind of just diffuse that a little bit. Now that that color is diffused a little bit, I'm gonna start concentrating on like my outer crease, the outer edge, you know, with a lot of intense colors. The first thing I'm going to do is use this color Fair Play. It's a much more cool toned, or not cool toned, it's not as neon, it's more of a purple pink, I'm going to say. Let's see if I can show you. Looks like this. Fair Play. And I'm going to concentrate that on the outer edge of my eyes. Now 
now I'm going to go in with the red from this palette, which is Mars. From the menu anyway, make a deep palette, that red, and concentrate that on the very outer part. Now I'm going to go back into the first color, which was soft core, and um, blend that up to my brow bone as much as possible. Taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm just going to do kind of a half cut crease, just halfway. I'm going to go ahead and lay down this color Secrets from ColourPop. It's a very light pink, just as a base for whatever I decide to do. So for now, I'm going to go with this shade also from ColourPop. ColourPop, it's their Super Shock Shadow in Eye Candy. It's kind of like a purplish pink. It's really light. It's not a very thick glitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my brush and spray it. Okay, tapping off excess because this is very glittery. You might have to go under and clean layer, but oh well. Now that the glitter is done on my face, I'm going to go back into those darker shades and kind of drag them more into the glitter to make sure everything blends on the lid very nicely. I think that's the top of the eyes done. I'm going to go clean off the clean off the fallout. I think I'm gonna put a little wing, a little wing, and um, do mascara and lashes, and then I will be back for the bottom part of my eyes. I'm back. Like I said, I got rid of fallout. I put on liner, mascara, and lashes. These are the Baby Wispies by Ardell. And yeah, um, now we're gonna work on underneath the eye. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and tight line bottom with white. I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this and use soft core all over, all along the bottom lash line. And now that I have that down, I'm going to take a more detailed brush and take um, Fair Play and focus that closer to my lashes. I'm going to take some of that Mars shade from the Mini of Way, make a big palette and just concentrate that on the very outer edge towards the wing. Okay, so that's the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and put some bottom mascara on and then we'll move on to the inner corner and the rest of the face. I'm going to go ahead and take some of eye candy and put it on my inner corner and then I'm going to use lash glue to stick on those little nail heart decals. So I'm taking one of these really, really tiny, I have no idea if you can see that at all, little heart nail decal things and I'm going to take some lash glue and put it right on my inner corner so I can put the heart there.
That is it for the eyes. Really happy with how this turned out for having no plan whatsoever. And yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of brow on highlight um, from the Violet Voss highlighting palette. I'm going to use ooh, Unicorn Luster. It's like the pinker shade. Probably at the end there. And also going to use that to highlight my face. I have this red from ColourPop. It's an ultra matte lip in Notion. And I think just, just cause I'm gonna stick with the whole theme and do a red lip. Obviously, you don't have to do a red lip. You could go with a nude, but I wanna go all out. So I'm gonna go all out. And I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of a gloss. This is just a clear gloss. It's the brand Bitsy or whatever. You can get it at Sally Beauty. It's not really like a, a brand, you know. It's just what I have. So I'm putting a tiny bit of clear gloss on. Because I want to be that, that person. Got my clear gloss on. And I'm pretty sure this is the finished look. Okay, guys. This is the finished makeup look. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you decide to recreate it. Let me know what your plans are for Valentine's Day. Um, Valentine's Day also happens to be the first day of Lent. It's Ash Wednesday, so I'm going to be at church for Valentine's Day. So, yeah, probably won't be wearing this on Valentine's Day, but whatever. Anyway, um, like I said, let me know your plans. Uh, do you celebrate Valentine's Day at all? Some people don't, but yeah. Let me know what you thought of this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.